Hey guys, it's Amanda Degoli, your favorite Tupperware lady. Um, I am using the Tupperware pressure cooker. This does hold two quarts of food or liquids. Okay, so what I did was, I guess I should have shown you. This is one locking mechanism. You just pull up, twist, that's another one. So there's two locking mechanisms to this. Okay, so the base, we're going to add um, two cans of green beans, which I'm just going to keep the juice in there. Now I'm going to show you the can opener too. You're just going to put the piece in between here, close it, and turn. And this is great for arthritic cans, left-handers, right-handers, <clears throat> any ages. My kids are 4 and 11 and can use this. Once it's done, you'll hear a little pop or you feel it give just a little bit. So open the feet, grab with the teeth, and pull up. There are no sharp edges at all. So this, this can of work is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to add one bouillon cube down in there in my green beans. Can you see them? Down in there. I am going to season them just a little bit with some um, some uh, minced dried onions a little more than a little bit okay and then I'm gonna add my pork chops these are thin pork chops I'm gonna use my tongs and just kind of layer them in here get on there Oh, that one may have two on it. No, just one. Okay. I'm just going to layer them in here, like I said. I might have to layer them just a little bit more than I wanted, but that's okay. Okay, so you can see the pork chops are layered. Can you layered in here. Now I am just going to add, oh, I want to season them a little bit more. This is our favorite seasoning. I don't have enough Tupperware um, spice shakers like these ones. These are great. These are the large ones. A little bit of extra onion powder. <laughs> we like spices. So I'm just going to grab this can, pull up, and I'm just going to pour out my cream and mushroom. Now this is our uh, small uh, silicone spatula. This is our large, so as you can see, there is a, quite a difference. You can remove the top. You want to remove it when cleaning, and you can use it for cupcake and cake decorating. And it's just uh, two cans of cream mushroom, and I think I'm going to add the third, just to make sure that it's nice and yummy, Yummy, <laughs> as my husband just said, yummy. So simple, easy to use. <clears throat> I have had a very long day today, so... The pressure cooker is going to come in really, really handy. I'm not going to stand at the stove. I'm just going to pop this in the oven for 30 minutes. Oven. Or I mean in the microwave, not the oven. Sorry. In the microwave. <laughs> As you can see, it's been a very long day. Okay. So I have covered. Oh, there's a little more on here. I have covered my meat. I've covered my beans. And now... We're just going to put our top on, just twist it, lock it, and as you can see, there is two, um, um, two spots that's going to tell you when this is hot. You're going to have your steam come out here, and this is going to be popped up, and it's going to tell you it's hot. You do not want to open this when it is hot. Can you see them? This is the vent, the, the steam vent, and this is a little indicator, okay? I'm going to go put this in the microwave. Okay. 
does fit in the microwave. So it's in the microwave quite nicely. Okay, and I'm just gonna type in 30 minutes. And it may not even take that long, but that's what I'm gonna start with because uh, I'm kind of testing this recipe out. So we will be back soon to show you how this works. Okay guys, 30 minutes and you can hear it steam. Can you hear it? How cool is that? And it's the indicator is up over here. So we're going to wait until it goes down. And then we'll show you what the food looks like. Okay, guys. It took about 7 minutes, 8 minutes maybe max. For the indicator to go down. And it stopped steaming. Can't hear it anymore. So I'm going to pop the first block and I'm going to very carefully slide, excuse me, and lift away from your face so you don't get a facial. Ooh, that looks yummy. Now I'm going to check. Oh, it smells the yummy. Top just to make sure that they're cooked all the way through. Pretty sure. You want to use nonstick. I know I didn't, but I didn't touch the side of the bowl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are cooked all the way through. Let me scoop out um, green beans. So they kind of turn to water, but that's okay. Ooh, those look yummy. Mm -hmm. uh, you could also do some pasta on the stove if you wanted, or you could have put rice in here, but I just didn't. So 30 minutes and um, our meal is done. We're not going to have any carbs tonight. So we're just going to have meat and vegetables. So thank you guys for watching. And it's